Today I'm going to show you an easy, zero waste inspired recipe that's completely changed how I think about orange liqueur. In the next three episodes, I'll show you three completely different coffee cocktail recipes that use this in completely different ways. So hopefully this gives you some kind of practical inspiration on how you can use this in very different drinks when you make it at home. So stay tuned for those. And now let's make some epic zero waste orange liqueur. All right, welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail channel, everyone. I'm Dan Fellows. And before we make our zero waste orange liqueur, I should specify that commercial orange liqueurs are delicious, they're convenient, and they can work well in a lot of cocktail recipes. So what we're doing today isn't to rival that necessarily, it's just taking a completely new perspective on it to create something new and unique that you can add to your arsenal. The benefits of making something like this are it's relatively cheap to make, it's very versatile because you can use it in a lot of different cocktails and you can also use different ingredients within it to get different flavor profiles. And you get loads of that really nice kind of fresh orange flavor within it, thanks to using as much of the fruit as possible within the recipe. I also really like that you can pre-balance the acidity, sweetness and bitterness of this using different parts of the orange to get a profile that's kind of in line with orange juice. So lots of vibrant acidity, plenty of sweetness and a little bit of kind of pithy bitterness rounding out a really nice orange liqueur. And to make this, you're gonna need three large oranges, some kind of sugar, I'm going with golden caster sugar, powdered acid or acids, and I'm gonna be blending citric and malic, and a spirit of your choice, which I'm gonna go with vodka. So there's a nice kind of tidy tidbit of information here. Each of these large oranges, which I've just washed, will give us around about 33 grams of our peel and 66 grams of juice, making for very easy maths, which is a win-win. So the first thing we wanna do is grab our scales and grab our big bowl. And then we're just gonna set about peeling all the pith from our large oranges making sure not to remove too much of the pith, and we're gonna use a peeler in order to do this. So you wanna repeat this for all three of your oranges, which with three oranges will give us around about 100 grams, and we're gonna call this one part. So that actually gave us 100.6 grams of peel, which is just about as we expected, and we're gonna call that one part. So you can scale this recipe up or down, depending on the weight of your peels, and then we can move on to the next step. To the same bowl, we're gonna add the same amount, one part or 100 grams of our sugar, and I'm going with golden caster sugar, but you can use different sugars for different end characteristics in the drink. So a very light sugar will be quite neutral, whereas a more rich kind of molasses forward sugar will have more intensity and more depth. Because we're gonna pre-balance our orange liqueur, I'm gonna add 10% of the sugar weight in acid. So we've got 100 grams of our sugar, so we want 10 grams of acid. And you can just use citric, you could just use malic, but I like to blend the two together. So I'm gonna go for 6.6 .6 grams of our citric acid for those really nice kind of familiar tangy notes but I'm also gonna go for 3.3 grams of malic acid, which has more kind of crispness and is also present in oranges. So this is a really nice blend. But as long as it's 10% of the sugar weight, so in this case, 10 grams, it should be really nicely balanced. We're gonna take this off our scales and then give it a really good mix together. So this process will be really familiar to a lot of you. This is the process you use to make oleosaccharum. And this is gonna be the foundation of our orange liqueur. And we're just gonna cover this. Now it's all really well mixed together and leave it to one side for around about 12 hours. And in the meantime, you wanna juice the oranges. So this should give us around about double the amount of the weight of the peels. So two parts, or in this case, 200 grams. So I can hear some of you thinking that this isn't a truly zero waste recipe if we have leftover fruit, and that's a fair point. So one thing I'm gonna experiment with is taking these husks, which we've juiced, and making marmalade from them which would be a really nice way to close the loop. So I'm gonna get experimenting and I encourage you to do the same. And then you wanna add the same amount of a spirit of your choice. Either vodka, which works really nicely for a kind of neutral spirit, or you can add something different depending on what you want in the final drink. So while your peels, sugar and acid mix all mix together and kind of get to know one another, in that 12 hours, you wanna keep your vodka and orange juice in the fridge just to keep it nice and fresh. And then after 12 hours, you'll be left with this delicious oily syrup in our oleosaccharum bowl. You wanna then add your spirit and orange juice mix give it a really good stir to combine, pass it through a sieve into a bottle, and you'll be left with this delicious zero waste orange liqueur. So as I give this a little taste, we're gonna recap the ingredients. You want one part of your peels to one part sugar, 10% of your sugar weight in your acid. Gonna mix this together really well and leave it for around about 12 hours. Add two parts of your orange juice and two parts of your spirit. Combine it all together, pass it through a sieve, and you're left with this, which is our delicious zero waste orange liqueur. So I'm gonna give this a little taste. First of all, it's delicious. And I think the reason it's so delicious is just because it reminds me of orange juice. So you've got a little bit of acidity in there, which you want in orange juice. You've got plenty of sweetness, but also a little hint of bitterness, which just kind of rounds it out and makes it really moorish. It's got bags of really good quality orange flavor. I think using fresh orange juice makes such a difference to this and just makes it really kind of pleasant and moorish. 
with a little bit of alcohol in there, but just not too much at all. It's just so well balanced. So if you make this, which I strongly recommend you do, you can keep it in the fridge. And then over the next three videos, I'm gonna be giving you three completely different coffee cocktail recipes which use it in totally different ways to get totally different results. So stay tuned for those. And if you wanna learn more about how to make cocktails and how to make coffee, I'll put my Skillshare courses in the description below so you can watch them there. Alternatively, if you wanna sign up to my Patreon page, which massively supports the channel from as little as three pounds a month, you get weekly access to these courses, as well as being entered into giveaways and having a kind of influence on the content and getting sneak peeks into future content. So if you found value in this, which I really hope you have, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And if you wanna see more recipes using our zero waste orange liqueur, you can click in the little box just here. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the next video. Cheers.